Good afternoon. Hi, this is Sandy Thorpe with Gumby Yoga number 15, take three. <laughs> um, <clears throat> See if this one works. Uh, the perils of recording outside. The first two takes had dogs barking and saws going and airplanes flying and all kinds of noise intrusion. So we'll give this a try with number three. Take three of number 15. Let's bring the legs out front and let's inhale, come all the way up. Exhale forward. And again, inhale, come all the way up. Exhale forward. And one more time, inhale, reach up. Exhale forward. So for today's session, you're gonna need a block. Okay, see this, the next box works fine. You wanna have that right at the front of your mat. And then for use later in our um, session today, you're gonna wanna have two towels blankets, pillows, whatever you have, lots of things work here. Uh, let's bring the legs into a cross leg position and slide the hands forward. So a belated happy Mother's Day to all you moms out there. I've been getting lots of feedback from people all over. So as always, let me know what you like, what you don't like. I'm getting some um, interesting comments out make sense of, but if you do write something, just you know, tell me what you think. Um, that would be good. Press the knees down, push the hips up, roll the shoulders back, bring the hips down, and let's go off to your right side. Left arm up and over. Inhale up, off to the other side. Let's change the leg positions and reach forward again. So we're just opening up the legs here. My favorite hip opening exercise. For all we're going to see on a loud movement. Come back up. Bring the hands behind you. Things going away from you. Press the knees down. Push the hips up. And bring the hips down, and again, off to your right, left arm up, and over. Inhale up, off to your left. And step back. Yes. Something to do is cat yoga. And let's bring it to hands and knees. And let's push right back into child's pose, stretch it out. From here, tuck the toes, fold the hips up, back into downward facing dog. Okay, let's come forward into plank. Lower down to chaturanga, pull it up into up dog. Flip the toes back into down dog. And again, let's come forward into plank. Down to chaturanga, up into up dog. Flip the toes back into down dog. And let's raise the right leg up, let the leg flop over. Just get a good stretch here, maybe rotate that leg around, hip socket. Extend that leg straight out behind you. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose, take it back. And knee to your nose, place the foot in between your hands. Drop the left knee, flip the left toe, sweep the arms up, and hips fall forward. Asana. Bring your hands down to the mat. And let's walk your hands back so you're sitting on your left heel. Option here, you can take the blanket, place it underneath your right hip. Walk your hands forward. Right foot back into downward facing dog. Again, forward into plank. Go down, scoop it 
up, toes back into deep. Left leg up, left leg drops over. Extend that right leg straight out behind you. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose. Bring it back. Bring your knee to your nose, place your foot in between your hands, drop the right up. Drop the right knee, flip the right foot. And bring the hips down to the mat. And we'll straighten out your left leg. Bring your nose to your left knee. And again, option to walk all the way back. Use blanket if you want. Underneath your left hip. Slide the hands forward. Bring the nose to your left. Hands forward, tuck the right toe, lift the knee off the ground, send the left foot back in a downward facing dog. And again, going through our vinyasa, forward in plank, lower arm down, sweep it up, toes back, the down dog. Let's come back into plank and bring your left hand to the center, reach the right arm up. Your body is out from the side plank. Left knee can be down for a little more stability. Right leg can be up for a little more challenge. Going out of the wrist, taking the weight in the whole arm. Then arm comes down. Bring that right foot all the way forward into a lunge. And we're going to release all the way up into a high lunge. So we're on our back toes. Sweep the arms out. Shift your weight to your right foot, and left leg is going to come up behind you into a warrior. Just release all the way up, inhale up, swan dive out, exhale down. Inhale up to a flat back, exhale down, and let's hop or walk back into plank. Well, we're down to Chaturanga, up into Up Dog. Flip the toes, back into Down Dog. And come back into Plank. And bring your right hand to the center. Release up. Arm comes down. Left foot comes forward. Come up into a high lunge. Release up. Stretch out that right leg behind you. Should have a pretty good stretch in your right upper thigh. And then shift your weight to your left foot. Right leg is going to come up behind you into a low Release all the way up. And inhale up. Swan dive out. Exhale down. Inhale up to a flat back. Exhale down. And let's hop or walk back into plank. Go down to chaturanga. Up into up dog. Put the toes back into down dog. And right leg is going to reach up. Right foot comes forward. Left foot is going to plant, flatten the ground. Up 
jug, put the toes and bring it down and jump. Hands raise the left leg up. Flip the forward. In between your hands, right toe plant, flatten the ground. And bring it up. Warrior one. Inhale up, exhale into warrior two. Left arm in the front, right arm behind you, reach forward. Flip the left palm up and right hand is going to slide down the back of your leg. Inhale up, back into warrior two. Reach forward again, straighten out the left leg. Slide the hand down, coming into triangle. And shift your weight to your left foot. Left hand reaches out, find the block, mat, whatever. And bring it into your hands. for these, bring down into standing forward fold. Stretch out the hamstring. And walk your hands off to your right foot. Back to center. Off to your left. Flat back. Exhale down. Let's hop or walk. Back into plank. Lower down to chaturanga. Pull up up dog. Flip the toes back. Maybe downward facing dog. And from here, let's hop or walk back into standing forward fold. Keep the arms up. Bring the hips down into chair. Come up onto your tippy toes. Come lower, lower. Bring it all the way down. Open up the knees. Stretch out the arms. Toe balance. Hands are going to come down onto the mat. And from here, coming into Bakasana crane. Lift up the hips. Move your block out of the way. You still have that there. Lift up your hips. Shift your weight forward. And we're going to clamp your knees onto your triceps. Looking about a flip mark. From here, maybe you could jump back into plank. Otherwise, walk back. Lower it down. Keep it up. Put the toes back into down. Drop down to the knees. Push back into child's pose. Get a good stretch. from child's pose, walk your hands off to your right, push the hips off to your left, bring the hips back to center, hands back to center, and walk the hands off to your left, push the hips off to your right. Hands back to center, hips back to center. And let's tuck the toes, pull the hips up, back into downward facing dog. Coming forward into plank, lower down to chaturanga, up into up dog. Hook the toes back into down dog. And let's raise the right leg up. Bring the right foot forward, place it in between your hands. Left foot is going to plant flat in the ground. Coming up and into warrior one. So the arms are going to sweep up. Hips settle in there. Hips are square to the mat. Shoulders are square to the mat. And then shift your weight to your right foot. Left leg is going to float up behind you. So we're coming back into warrior three. And then come all the way up, shift your weight to your left foot, and your right foot is going to come up into tree, or shasana. So the knee is going to be pointing off towards the side. Arms are reaching up, stretching up nice and tall through the spine. So option today here is if you'd like to bring it into stork, this is how we're going to do it. 
the arms are going to come down, find the foot, pull the foot up, plant it right into the groin. Bring the hands behind you, roll the shoulders back, pull the arms away from you, and then we come down. So the head is coming down, the arms are coming up, head comes down, arms come up. Try to get the whole body more vertical. Just release all the way up, replace the foot. Inhale, come all the way up. And pull up, swan dive out, exhale down. Inhale up to a flat back, exhale down. Let's hop or walk back into plank. Lower down, chaturanga, up into up dog. Flip the toes, back into down dog. And from down dog, let's raise the left leg up. Left foot comes forward in between your hands. Right foot plants. So your left foot is going to come up into tree this time, Rikshasana. Stretch it up, move spine. And again, option, reach down, find that foot, pull it up, plant it right into the groin, press the thigh down, bring the hands behind you, roll the shoulders back, Head comes down, arms come up. Head comes down, arms come up. And release. Release out. Bring it down into standing forward fold. And walk your hands off to one side. Center, off to the other side. And back to center. So now would be a good time to take both of your blankets and place one on either side of your mat, kind of up towards the top, pretty much right where you have your hands. Inhale up to a flat back. Exhale down. Let's hop or walk back into plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Hold up and up dog. Flip the toes and bring it back into down dog. And from here, let's raise your right leg up. Bring the right knee forward. Coming right into pigeon, kapitasana. So your knee is coming off to the side. You're sitting up, settling in. Let's come on down to your forearms. Get a nice stretch in the hip flexors. Maybe even walk the hands all the way out in front. Shift your weight to your right hip. And we're going to slide the left leg all the way around to the front. Take that right knee and just position it more going off to the side. Take that foot and pull up through the spine. Bend your left knee. And take the foot, place it into the crook of your right elbow. Left arm comes around. And we're pulling up into cradle the baby. So you want to try and get your back as straight as you can. I know mine's not very straight. Hopefully yours is straighter. And then stretch that right leg out in front. <laughs> stretch the left leg out in front and pull up through the spine. Pull the leg up, pull it towards you. At this point, we can kind of reposition the blanket so that they're a little closer to the hip. So if your hip bone is here, just a little bit in front of your hip on both sides. And pull all the way up, pull the leg towards you. And we're going to bring it into elephant trunk. So hold that foot with your right hand. Left arm is free. Left arm comes up, comes inside underneath 
and then jam that shoulder in there. Inch from the waist, and let the hand find the towel. The right hand is going to find the other towel. Now, a quick check. Take your right hand. Make sure you can reach with your two fingers. Make sure you can reach both your knee and your shoulder. If you can't, try and get that arm in there a little more. So we're hinging forward, we're bending both elbows, and then we just straighten out the arms. Lift up the hips, lift up the foot off the ground. This is elephant trunk. All right, how'd we do? And let's release, let's inhale all the way up. Exhale forward. And slide up. And let's place the feet in the ground, pull forward into squat. Stretch out into standing forward fold. Inhale up to a flat back, exhale down. Let's hop or walk back into plank. Lower down to chaturanga, up into up dog. Flip the toes back into down dog. And let's find your left leg, which is up. Left knee comes forward, coming into top sasana, pigeon, pulling up to the spine, bending in, saying you just get both. And bring it down into sleeping pigeon if you like for a deep stretch. Lift up, walk your hands in, shift your weight to your left hip. And we're going to sweep the right leg around. Reposition the left knee so it's pulling off towards the left side of your mat. Take the right leg and just stretch it up. Bend the knee. Place the foot into the foot with your left elbow. Right arm comes around. And up into cradle the face. And to go further, stretch the leg out. Up. Through the spine. Press the bottom leg straight, both legs go straight forward. Pull up, hold the foot with your left hand. Right arm is going to come in. Pull up the leg, get that shoulder in there, and then hinge forward from the waist. So your hand has a little bit of height here on your blanket. Again, check knee to shoulder. Can you reach both of them? If not, Try and get it in a little bit closer. Maybe pull the blanket in closer to you. And left hand on the blanket. Lean forward, elbows are bent, lift up the hips. That would be such a good one. So you'll feel this at the tops of your thighs. Let's release, move your, in my case, wet blankets out of the way. We had rain last night. And get the blankets out of the way. <laughs> Let's inhale all the way up. Exhale forward. And tilt back. Bring the feet in. Pull up so you're sitting right on your sits bones. And then tilt back. We're going to bring it into boat. So arms coming out in front. Hips coming out. Searching. If you got into elephant trunk at all, you'll be feeling this right now in the top seat of the thighs. Let's come down into a long boat. Back up, into boat. Bring the feet down, come all the way forward into seated forward fold. And let's have your hands just above your toes. And we're going to roll down, we're going to get back, lower. And then just before you come all the way down, let's come all the way back up, all the way back forward. Let's slide up and take your right foot, bring it in, knee up close to you, pull up through the spine. And we're going to bring your right hand behind you, left elbow into the knee, and twist around. How are we doing? So far so good. Knees, bring both legs out in front, inhale up, exhale forward. Side up, left foot comes in, Oops. twist around, left hand behind you, right elbow. And twist around. All right, one more 
more time, bring both legs out in front, inhale up, exhale forward, and you can down, round the back, and lower, and lower, and lower. And let's come all the way down, plant the hands, let the feet come up. Stretching out the legs, and from here you can bring it up into shoulder stand if you like. Pulling up, supporting the hips, legs reaching out. Let the legs come all the way over into plow. Release the hands from the hips. Slowly roll down. Back comes down to the mat. So back is on the mat. Legs are up. Let's lower the legs coming lower and lower and lower. And lowering the back down to the mat, bring your knees into your chest, wrap your arms underneath the knees, rock from side to side, press that back into the mat, giving yourself a little back smash. Coming back to center, let's extend the legs straight up one last time. Lowering, lowering, lowering. And then coming all the way down, releasing the heels onto the mat, closing the eyes. Coming in for our final spasana. Taking just a few minutes to release, releasing the body. change in position. Heart rate slowing down, breathing slowing down, releasing, relaxing. Taking a few minutes to repose. Pushing it up into an easy seated position, stretching out through the spine, rolling the shoulders up and around. Inhale up and around. And let's roll the head, stretching out the neck. All the way back. To one big breath to conclude our practice today. Big inhale, all the way up. And exhale all the way down to heart center. And light the knees, light the light, and continue. Namaste.